I want to get a little bit more specific, and then Ahmed will hear your answer. You know, how do you guys manage your your local delivery? Do you use Aramax? Do you have an in-house solution? Can you just discuss that as well? So I mean, uh, Aramex is our number one partner. Uh, in other, in specific other markets, we have uh, specific couriers that we use along Aramex to kind of manage the volume because we have sometimes spurts, and every company we work with has a certain capacity limitation. And we've been growing very fast, as well as we've tested certain markets as well on delivery. Uh, we feel it has certain advantages, but clearly also doing it at scale adds another one more level of complexity to the business. So we, we really use the, the current infrastructure and where we feel there is an opportunity to improve the service, we, we push certain KPIs or services that are a bit different and more customized. Yeah, so for us it's a little bit different. Um, again, uh, we're, we're really focused on the customer um, in, in the sense that we want to make sure that the customer has a flawless experience and, a, and, a, and a, a successful interaction, let's say, or a positive interaction with any any time they, they touch anything in our system, whether it's our customer care, whether it's our call center, uh, whether it's uh, our packaging, uh, our delivery. Uh, this is what we're focused on. So today, uh, Marca VIP delivers 60% of its orders using its own fleet, uh, its own parts, and its own drivers. Uh, this, of course, allows us uh, to, uh, when we reach economies of scale and reach volumes, it, all, it allows us to service the customer better. I mean, Aramex definitely is a, our biggest partner as well. Uh, uh, but you know, when, when you do things yourself, you can you can kind of uh, measure your performance much much, much better. And we incentivize our drivers, uh, uh, you know, to to to, serve, to 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 treat the customer in the best manner, whether it's in their presentation. Whether it's in their communication, whether it's uh, you know just the whole uh, the whole chain, and and we believe that no e-commerce company will succeed, uh, whether it's Soup or Marca VIP or whatever it is, if we're not able to capture that customer's um, uh, 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 loyalty, capture that customer's attention, and be able to monetize uh, 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 that loyalty uh, uh, all the time. So today, for example, on Marca VIP. 80% of the revenue is coming from the uh, repeat uh, repeat buyers, uh, which is a huge uh, a huge KPI for us, a huge metric. Uh, <clears throat> while we are acquiring a lot of users, but we're actually seeing that our existing customers, uh, our existing buyers, are purchasing faster, and they are they are purchasing even higher uh, uh, amounts. So they're spending a lot more money on market VIP, and and uh, the only way. To continue to to uh, get these kinds uh, of of, uh, of uh, volumes from, uh, and, and payments and amounts and, and orders and uh, and loyalty from our customers is to service them properly. So this is what uh, what we're focused on. Saudi Arabia is a very difficult market by far. I mean, the UAE is more savvy. Uh, even Lebanon could be considered, uh, uh, you know, more savvy than than, than than Saudi Arabia. So the geography, the terrain, uh, the the it's a very dispersed country in terms of uh, uh, locations and, and cities, and it's very, very difficult to manage. Uh, and this is uh, pretty much the last piece uh, of the puzzle for us, uh, which we're focused on solving right now. But once, once, uh, once we're in Saudi and, and uh, our warehouses, uh, which are there right now in Jeddah and Riyadh, uh, are are operational, uh, we'll be able to cover almost 90 percent of, uh, of the deliveries ourselves. Now, this is not to say that we are not working with Aramex on on uh, creative solutions to try to find out how we can uh, have Aramex as well be included in some of the things that uh, uh, that, uh, that that we're doing and how uh, Aramex can adapt uh, uh, to to our business model because it's a very very different business model than Namchi and uh, than uh, than Soup itself. So it, it requires a little bit of uh, creativity in order for us to uh, be able to deliver in in a cost effective manner. But also to maintain that uh, that level of service that, that uh, our customers have have not been accustomed.